this. This is the new iPad Air 2. It's unbelievably gorgeous, and look how thin it is. Can you even see it? <laughs> it is so incredible. And to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite Phil Schiller up. <laughs> Phil? Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be able to tell you about the incredible new iPad Air 2. It is the thinnest iPad we have ever made, just 6.1 millimeters thin. That's 18% thinner than their first iPad Air, which was already 20% thinner than the iPad before it. It makes it the world's thinnest tablet. It is incredibly beautiful to hold all day long. The progress the team has made over just the last couple of years is unbelievable. Here's the original first iPad next to the new iPad Air 2. The new iPad Air 2 is so thin, you can stack two of them and still be thinner than the original iPad. It is amazing. What the team has done to pack so much technology and performance into the thinnest iPad is unbelievable. So how did they do it? Let's start with the display. The display is made up of a number of components, primarily the LCD, the touch layer, and glass. And in every iPad, there's been a micro thin layer of air between each of those layers. Well, not satisfied with that, the team has optically bonded those together, laminated them to make a single component with no air gap. And that reduces, reduces the internal reflection and makes a sharper image and a thinner display. It makes the Graphics and the text feel like they sit right on top and you're touching them with your finger. It's really beautiful. In addition, we've now created an anti-reflective coating for this multi-touch surface. This has never been done in a tablet before. It reduces reflections by 56%, making it even more beautiful as an image. So it is an incredible display. It is the only tablet that has this kind of a surface and has the lowest reflectivity of any tablet. So this will be the best tablet display you've ever seen in the thinnest tablet. But there's so much more that makes iPad Air 2 great. And it starts with the brains inside it. A whole new generation chip, A8X. You've heard of the A8 chip with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and it's blowing people away. Well, this is a new version created specifically for iPad Air 2. It is unbelievable. It's a second generation 64-bit architecture. It has three billion transistors. The iPad Air had an A7 with one billion transistors. Three billion. It delivers up to 40% faster CPU performance for most of your apps. Some apps can achieve 2x performance in CPU. And the graphics are out of this world. Two and a half times faster what was already the industry leading graphic performance. Just look what the team has done. The original iPad started with an A4 chip, and now we're 12 times faster than that with iPad Air 2. But check out this graphics performance. We're now at 180 times faster. <laughs> Add to that the work the software team is doing with technologies like Metal to let developers get full access to that performance without any software overhead. We're able to now deliver console level graphics in the palm of your hand. And that's what a lot of the developers are doing. We're working with game developers, and they're now bringing the engines, not from their mobile gaming, but from their desktop gaming systems, right onto iPad Air 2. And all this power in such a thin package, the team has worked to ensure that you have that great all-day battery life, 10 hours of battery, so you don't have to give up any of that. Along with the A8X, we have the new M8 motion coprocessor. This works to read data from the sensors like the accelerometer and gyroscope, and it instantly calibrates it so all your apps get incredibly accurate data. And there's also the new barometer for res me measuring relative elevation, and developers can take advantage of that too. But perhaps the feature people love the most about their iPads is the camera, the built-in iSight camera. Now, some people have been surprised by that, but it really makes a lot of sense. 
The iPad is the best viewfinder for composing your photos and your videos. You can see the scene, you can take incredible photos, you can edit them right on the device and share them instantly with people around the world. And not only do we all like taking pictures and, and videos, but developers like taking advantage of these cameras to build incredible applications that haven't existed on any other platform. Things like applications for helping coaches train their players with Coach's Eye, or consumer apps like Prismo that lets you scan and translate documents on the fly, or apps like Caribou that let a parent read with FaceTime to their children from anywhere around the world, or HomeStyler that lets you create a virtual reality image of your own home and then lay out the furniture and interior design of it. This and hundreds of more applications take full advantage of the cameras we build into the iPad. And they, the developers and the customers who use these apps, are going to love the new iSight camera. It's a huge jump forward for iPad. It's a full new 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has large 1.12 micron pixels. as a fast 2.4 aperture. It takes photos and 1080p HD video. It has a great sensor. It's combined with the Apple design lens. But really what rounds it out is the brains behind it all the image signal processing that's done in that 8x chip. And it does an incredible job. I'm going to show you some photos now that were taken with an iPad Air 2, unretouched right off of it. And tell me you're not going to be blown away that these were taken with an iPad. Look at that photo. That's a beautiful landscape scene. You can see the quality of the auto HDR that creates amazing exposure. Look at the low noise in that blue sky. And it is a remarkable photo. Here's another. People are just not going to believe these are taken with the iPad you bring with you to do work, and you're taking incredible photos with it. Here's a shot from above the Golden Gate Bridge. You see the incredible accurate color it delivers and the great depth of field. Here's my favorite of the bunch. It's a portrait photo. The skin tones are just perfect. The background is painterly. It's an amazing photo. Of course, we all love taking macros and showing them to the world. Here's a great one. Look at the level of detail in the feathers. You can't tell. Is that taxidermy or live? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's live. <laughs> For the first time with iPad, you can take large panoramas up to 43 megapixels. So you take your iPad on vacation, you can share your mountain scenery with all your friends. For the first time on iPad, you can take burst mode, mode photos. So taking something that has high speed action, you can grab it, just like this photo. Yeah, isn't that incredible? For the first time with the iPad iSight camera, you can do time lapse. So here's a time lapse. It's taken in Venice. You maybe recognize it. Now, there's a group of boats that are going to start coming down together. See, there they are. That was the George Clooney wedding party that came by as we were shooting that. <laughs> Still waiting for my invitation. This we took recently in Albuquerque at the balloon fiesta, that gathering there. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> also, for the first time on iPad, you can do slow-mo videos. Yeah, customers are going to love taking these. This is 120 frames per second at 720p. Pretty cool. You heard that audio. There's now dual microphones to get better quality audio in your videos as well. Well, in addition to the all-new iSight camera and all those capabilities, there's a new FaceTime camera on the front side as well. A whole new FaceTime camera sensor. has a larger 2.2 aperture. It lets in 80% more light. And combined with the 8X chip, you get improved face detection. For the first time, you can do burst selfies, which kids love to do. This chip is amazing. It does HDR with a single image, not combining multiple images, which keeps it really sharp. And you can do videos with HDR as well. So with all these great new cameras, all this great new performance, and also faster connectivity too. iPad Air 2 is faster Wi-Fi, 802.11ac with MIMO. That delivers 2.8 times faster performance, up to 866 megabit per second throughput. There's also faster LTE with more bands. It has up to 150 megabit per second. That's using carrier aggregation. And it's 20 LTE bands. That's more than any other tablet. So it connects at high LTE speeds on more networks around the world. But perhaps the most requested feature from customers 
is Touch ID. Now, like many of us, if you have Touch ID on your iPhone, you've probably picked up your iPad and put your finger on the home button only to see that it doesn't unlock because you didn't have Touch ID. It's, we get used to it so quickly. Well, now with iPad Air 2, there is Touch ID, and it reads your fingerprint and quickly unlocks your iPad without having to enter your passcode. And it works with our stores, so you can purchase in the iTunes Store and the App Store. And it works with the new iOS 8 developer apps that support Touch ID, so you can unlock Evernote or Mint or your day one journal just with your fingerprint. And as you know, all of us who use iPads, well, we're prodigious shoppers. We love to use our iPad to sit back and surf the web and make purchases, and particularly with all those 675,000 apps, many of them help us make purchases. And now with Touch ID, you'll be able to use Apple Pay to make online purchases. Now this isn't for retail point of sale purchase, this is for online purchasing within all the apps they're going to support Apple Pay, and there are going to be many of them growing starting on Monday. So it would be the best way to shop online. Of course, iPad Air 2 comes with a brand new iOS 8.1 that Craig just showed us and all the incredible features it has. Now our developers have had a great time using the performance of the A8X chip and taking advantage of all the power in iPad 2 to do remarkable things. 